The year with this much snow on the way, kids immediately would start thinking about a snow day tomorrow. That's right, but uh, here's the thing. Thanks to the pandemic, most school districts are set up and ready to go with remote learning. So will kids have school tomorrow no matter what, or is it going to be a day of fun in the snow? Our Paula Tutman set out to get the answer. For the Pontiac School District, today and tomorrow are days off for winter break. Of their 4,000 students, 55% are remaining remote, 45% have already started phasing back into face-to-face -face learning, which means for some children, their first day back to school, Wednesday, might technically be a snow day. Having that remote option is a fantastic opportunity and a wonderful thing to be able to provide our staff, our families during these times. So it's one of the beauties that have come out of this time. However, the other side of that is Every, one of the nice things about snow days in the past is throughout the school year, especially this time of year, no matter what conditions we're in, people start to experience a little bit of burnout. And that's how many districts see the snow day conundrum, that it's no longer just about snow on the ground, but the fuzziness of the brain during what continues to be an incredibly stressful environment for learning for everyone. And in fact, most districts say they will take snow days on a case by case basis and alert parents of their decisions the usual way. We are going to still honor the snow day option. That being said, if we get to a point where we're running short on days or if we're really seeing that kids really are continuing to struggle or it's a day where maybe, you know, it just makes sense to still do school virtually. We're going to do that too. While some parents think snow days should still be enacted at the Schultz home in Rochester Hills, a bit of a debate because while mom Stephanie agrees, snow days are still important. I just think it's gotten so complicated because like with Carly's school, some kids are in person at the same time she's online. So it wouldn't be that easy. 18 year old Carly, a senior at Rochester Adams, a motivated student. I'm in AP Calc right now and it's very hard to learn a like heavy math class over the computer. Believes that when you have remote learning and there is measurable documented learning loss across the board. I only go to school two days out of the week and for those two days I only go three hours of the day. So I think that it would be very easy for the administration just to send out a quick email saying we're going online today rather than canceling another day because we've already lost so many hours that we're supposed to have. The districts I spoke to say that they will make a decision on a case by case basis and they will alert parents in the same way they always have for typical snow days. Paula Tutman, Local 4. All right, Paula, well, luckily most districts are on winter break right now, but those that do return to school this week should be aware decisions will generally be made the morning of.